Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a side-scroller type game in Unreal Engine 5 using Ascent Combat Framework. I'm just gonna be starting a side-scroller type template. So let's go ahead and get started. So I already have my Cinti character set up and we're just gonna go over the controls that's needed to lock your camera from the side point of view and be able to control your character so he can move up and down. So first thing I'm gonna do is in my world setting, I set up this little map. I basically just copy pasted this floor, just put it on the side and move my player start to face in this direction going. So my character will move to the right to go forward. And now in my world settings, if you don't have that, go to windows, make sure world settings is checked. And then under game mode override, I'm using ACF ultimate game mode. You can use full sample. It doesn't really matter in this case. I'm gonna go over to my player controller class, like so, double click to open that up. And on the right, you'll see your ACF default mapping. And I'm able to edit this because I put this all in my plugins folder, which is only going to affect this project itself and not the entire ACF stuff in our engine over here. And I highly recommend doing that. I do have a video on that I can link below for you. So yeah, let's go to our ACF default mapping, double click to open this up. And now under mappings, I wanna get rid of my X and Y. So I wanna turn, I wanna delete this ACF turn input and also this ACF look up input. So I'm gonna delete this and delete this. And now on my character, so I created, I just duplicated my ACF ultimate character and put SS for side scroller at the front of it. For my character, I'm just gonna move the camera just so that it is on the side of it. And I'll do that from the spring arm itself. So when I select this camera, I am just gonna move it 90 degrees or negative 90 on the rotation of the Z axis. And then I will just play around with this. I wanna make sure my character is in the very center like so. And then I also wanna drag this out. And you'll see my spring arm is still saying that it's behind this and I wanna change this too. All right, so now let's adjust our camera. The first thing I'm gonna do is select our spring arm and turn off all use pawn Use pawn control rotation, inherit pitch, inherit yaw, and inherit roll. We don't want any sort of inheritance going on here because our camera will just be focusing on our side scroller character. And now after turning those settings off, after turning my camera settings off, if I hit play right now, you're gonna see that you're gonna see that my character is kind of in a side scroller position now. Even though in the ACF character, we see it directly behind our character. After turning these off, since we're not inheriting and we hit play, you're gonna see it from the side. But my controls are still a little weird because my W is forward, so this looks right, but I feel like it should be my D key because I'm going in that direction. And S is backwards, like so, and A is left, and D is right from the character. But I just I can just simply switch that in my ACF default mapping. So I'll switch W for D, and let me go over these a little slowly because I'm actually confusing myself. So I'm gonna switch my W and D and A and S. So over here will be D, over here will be W, over here will be A, over here will be S. And now when I hit play, when I hit the D key, I'm moving right, A key, I'm moving left, S and W. I switch those up. Let me switch up the S and W. So S should be on top, W should be on bottom, like so. And now, and now this actually feels really good to me. This is starting to look more and more like a side scroller but I do want to kind of expand my target arm length because it doesn't feel like I have too much wiggle room. But the good thing is that I can, oh, right clicking will turn on the ACF aim thing and I don't want that. So I need to disable that too. So in my IMC default mapping, I'll look for the ACF aim input, which is right mouse button and I'll hit delete. And I'll be playing with the controls for this as I move along. But for my SS ACF ultimate player, I just want to increase that target arm length quite a bit. And I want to move this back. So I'll try to switch it to something like 500 and hit compile. And now when I hit play, you'll see that my ACF character is from the side. I cannot turn the camera and the camera will always be looking at my character no matter what. And of course, the way the controls are set, I set it up so that it's kind of like a side scroller ARPG where the character can turn around fully. It's not going to go instantly right to the left. There is some turn in space action going on there when he turns. And yeah, all your ACF stuff is still showing. So even if you click I, your inventory will show up and you can edit this however you like. There's quest stuff, your status showing, uh, a blank map that I haven't set up and so on. And yeah, really simple tutorial on how to set up your ACF side scroller character if anyone's interested, like so. And now I'll add that ACF defender enemy 
just like that. And now I'll go ahead and click play. And I can already hear him coming towards me. Oh, he's just patrolling actually. And because of the nav mesh, he can play around with it. His weapons are not in the correct locations. So I will definitely be fixing that up. But let's just destroy him. And honestly, it is a pretty cool angle to see stuff. I turned off execution because it would look a little weird from a side scroller perspective. And yeah, that's pretty much just how you set up a really simple ACF side scroller type template and just a few easy steps. Thanks for watching Coded Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and goodbye. If you want to get Cinti assets, my affiliate links in the description below, as well as my Patreon if you want to support my channel. And feel free to join our Discord community.